Saxophone? I feel great, Henry. It's another beautiful sunny day in the city of Dublin. The perfect weather for a cool cat like myself to do some busking. Busking? What's that, saxophone? Busking is when you perform music in the street for all the people passing by to enjoy. What kind of music do buskers play? We all have different styles, Henry. There's guitars playing folk music. Oh, yeah, Henry. There are violins playing classical music. La, 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 la. Hello, Henry. There's even microphones beatboxing. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Henry? Hello, everyone. And what kind of music do you play, saxophone? I play jazz music, Henry. saxophone. It must take a lot of confidence to perform all by yourself. It sure does, Henry, but I do miss playing with my old jazz buddies. In fact, I'd love to put the band back together so we can perform in New Orleans, the home of jazz. Why don't you give it a go? Oh, I'd love to, Henry, but I'd need a jazz singer to help me put the band back together. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, saxophone. I could become a jazz singer, and me could find your bandmates and play a gig in New Orleans. Well, that's a great idea, Henry. By the way, every jazz singer needs a groovy jazz nickname. But what could my nickname be? How about Cool Cat Henry, because you look like such a cool cat. Cool Cat Henry it is. Now, it's time we went and found my old bandmates. But how are we going to find them, saxophone? We got to follow the music. I think I hear something. Me too, Cool Cat Henry. And I'm sure I've heard those licks somewhere before. Hello, Blues Guitar. Hello, Cool Cat Henry. Saxophone, my main man. What brings you to New Orleans? We're putting the band back together. Are you with us? <laughs> you crazy cats. Come in. That's one band member down, three more to go. Well, there's no time to waste, Saxophone. Let's follow the music! Hello, drums. Would you like to join our jazz band? I sure would. Hello, trumpet. We're getting the band back together. Are you in? zip zip i go, saxophone! Hello, double bass. Will you come play a jazz gig with us? You got it, Cool Cat Henry. You're doing a great job, Cool Cat Henry. The whole band is back together, just in time for our big gig. Ready to hit the stage? I sure am, saxophone. Come on, everyone. Let's not keep our audience waiting. Oh, no. The club is empty. What are we going to do? It just won't have the same atmosphere without an audience to play to. Oh, well, I guess we'll all just have to go back to playing in the streets. Playing on the streets. That's it. Follow me outside, everyone. How about this, saxophone? can't bring people to the music, we'll bring the music to the people. Everybody ready? Ready, ready. Cool, cool Cat Henry. Henry. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. Your turn, Cool Cat Henry. Okay, here goes. Oh, we did it, Cool Cat Henry. Not only did we get the whole band back together, but we played the best jazz gig in New Orleans. You got soul, kid. Thanks, saxophone. But I couldn't have done it without all your help. Now, which one of you cool cats wants an encore? Hooray! The day Henry met a saxophone. That's my mum calling me saxophone. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me put the band back together and perform in New Orleans. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye bye, bye, -bye cool Henry. 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 Bye, everyone. I'm coming, mum. The day Henry met. I'm <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Hello, cruise ship. Hello, Henry. How are you today, cruise ship? One feels positively splendid, Henry. Surrounded by all these wonderful boats. Hello, everyone. Ahoy, Ahoy Henry. Henry. Cruise ship, you're a lot bigger than all of those other boats. In fact, you're the biggest, most ginormous boat I've ever seen. That's because I have to take thousands of passengers far across the ocean to different ports all around the world. Wow! You must have seen some amazing places on your travels. Not yet, Henry, but I will soon, for I'm about to depart on my maiden voyage, a world cruise. I'll be visiting India, Australia, Hawaii, passing through the Panama Canal, and finally finishing in Jamaica at the superest duperest beach resort in the world. You'd best be off then, cruise ship. You have such a long voyage ahead of you. Cruise ship, cruise ship, I have some terrible news. The captain has gotten seasick and had to go home to lie down. The around the world maiden voyage will have to be cancelled. Oh no, Henry. If the cruise is cancelled, none of my passengers will be able to go to the superest duperest beach resort in the world. Aww. If only there was another captain around to help. That gives me a great idea, cruise ship. I could become a captain and we could set sail on your maiden voyage and take your passengers on an around the world cruise. Jolly good idea, Henry. Okay, cruise ship, first things first. We're going to have to give you a name. I named the the Henry Super Duper Cruise Ship. Whee! Yay! All aboard! Whee! Now, Henry, before we set off, we must complete a mustard drill. Did you say mustard drill? <laughs> Not a mustard drill, Henry. A mustard drill. Take it away, life jacket. In case of an emergency, please put your life vests on like this. <laughs> and calmly make your way to the lifeboats on the starboard side. Once here, please remain calm and you will be lowered down to safety. Starboard side? What's that? When looking at the front of the ship, or bow, the starboard side is on the left side, Henry, while the port is on the right side. Thanks, cruise ship. Now let's set sail. Full speed ahead! Hello, Bandra Whirly Ceiling. Hello, Henry. Hello, Sydney Opera House. Good day, Henry. Hello, Kilo Way of Volcano. Hello, Henry. We're almost at the superest, duperest beach resort in the world. We just need to sail through the Panama Canal and we'll be there in no time. Hooray! -o! What's the matter, cruise ship? Why have we stopped? Oh, dear, Henry. The canal looks very narrow. I'll never squeeze through. Don't worry, cruise ship. This looks like a job for Henry the captain. Steady. Port a bit. Starboard a bit. We're going to crash, Henry. It's too narrow. Don't worry, cruise ship. Steady as you go. Steady as you go. You did it, Henry. You guided us through the Panama Canal. We made it to Jamaica and to the superest duperest beach resort in the world. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome, cruise ship. But I couldn't have done it without your help. Now, who wants to have a beach party? Today Henry met a cruise ship. He laughed along with everyone. Today Henry met a cruise ship. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me cruise ship. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me sail all around the world and have the best maiden voyage ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a gondola. <laughs> Hello, gondola. 
Ciao, Henry. How are you today, Gondola? I feel benissimo. Very good, Henry. Every day I get to cruise around these emerald green waters, soaking in the sights and sounds of one of the most romantic cities in the world, Venice. Hello, Henry. Ciao, everyone. Hmm, I don't see many roads around here. How do people get about? Venice is built upon lots of small islands connected by lagoons and canals. So most people get from place to place using vaporetti or water taxis like this. Hello, Henry. Hello, water taxi. And what are those boats doing, Gondola? That's the Regatta Storic. The historical regatta, Henry. It's a yearly boat race around Venice. That looks very exciting, Gondola. It sure is, Henry. But if you're after something a little more relaxing, you can take a trip on a gondola like myself and enjoy a private tour of the city. That sounds lovely, gondola. Do you have any tours booked in for today? I sure have, Henry. I have to pick up two passengers and take them on an extra special romantic tour around the famous sites of Venice. Gondola, gondola, I have some terrible news. Our gondolier has fallen in the canal, gotten his clothes wet, and they won't be washed and dried until tomorrow. What are we going to do? I can't go on an extra special romantic tour without a gondolier to help me navigate. If only there was another one around. That gives me a great idea, gondola. I could become a gondolier and we could pick up your passengers and take them on an extra special romantic tour together. Fantastico! That's a great idea, Henry. It's a tradition for the gondolier to stand astern. That means at the rear of the boat. Hop aboard. Will do, gondola. Will do. A gondolier uses me, Henry, an oar to propel the gondola forward. Thanks, oar. Now we better get going, Henry. We don't want to keep our passengers waiting. Sure thing, gondola. Let's go! Look, Henry, here's our happy couple now. Two Italian gelato ice creams. Ciao, ice creams. Are you ready for your extra special romantic tour of Venice? We, we sure, sure are, Henry. <laughs> then hop aboard. First stop, the Grand Canal. Hello, Rialto Bridge. Hello, Henry. Hello, Doge's Palace. Hello, Henry. Hello, St. Mark's Basilica. Hello, Henry. There's just a one last stop to make. It's tradition for the happy couple to share a kiss under the Bridge of Sighs. For good luck. Okay, Gondola. I guess it's up to us to set the mood. Se bellissimo. You look beautiful, my darling. Your eyes look like Da Vinci painted them himself. My darling, why are you crying? I'm not crying. Why are you crying? Oh, my, my goodness, I'm not crying. I'm, I'm melting. Oh, no, Henry. The gelatos are melting in the sun. We need to get them back to the gelato stall quick. Leave it to me, Gondola. Oh, dear. Look at that traffic. We'll just have to go this way, Gondola. We can't go that way because that leads straight into the historical regatta race. What are we going to do? Look at all these boats. We'll never make it back in time. We can't let the gelatos melt on their first date. Don't worry, Gondola. I'll just have to use my super-duper gondolier skills. Let's go! romantic tour and you even helped the gelatos get back to the freezer just in time. It's all in a day's work for Henry the Gondolier. The day Henry met a gondola, he laughed alone with everyone. The day Henry met a gondola, he met lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me. Gondola, I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me conduct the most extra special romantic tour ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. Ask you. <laughs> Scooter. Ciao, Henry. How are you today, Scooter? 
Excellente, Henry. I just love living here in the capital of Italy, one of the most beautiful and historic cities in the world, Rome. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Wow, Rome sure is an amazing city, Scooter. But what are you doing sat outside this pizzeria? I'm a pizza delivery scooter, Henry. I deliver piping hot, super tasty pizza all over Rome. Oh, I love pizza. Italy is the best place of pizza, Henry. And Italian pizza is the best in the world. Because we use the finest ingredients and the most delicious toppings, no? Ciao, Henry. Wow, you all look so yummy. My favorite pizza is plain old margarita. So simple, yet so tasty. Bellissimo. It looks like you're all ready for your delivery, Scooter. You'd best be off. No one likes a cold pizza. You're all right, Henry. I'm just waiting for my delivery driver. They should be here any moment. Scooter, Scooter, we have some terrible news. The pizza delivery driver ate too much spaghetti, had to go for a lie down, and won't be back until tomorrow. Oh, no, Henry. This is a disaster. If I don't deliver these pizzas soon, they'll be ruined, and all our customers will go hungry. Oh, if only there was another pizza delivery driver around to help. That gives me a great idea, Scooter. I could become a pizza delivery driver and we can deliver the pizzas all over Rome together. Fantastico, Henry. That's a great idea. OK, Scooter. The first delivery is at the Trevi Fountain. Don't forget to put your helmet on, Henry. Will do, Scooter. Will do. Let's go. Hello, Trevi Fountain. Here's your Napoli pizza. Nice and hot. Oh, marvellous. Mmm. -hmm. I do love anchovies. Thank you, Henry. You're welcome. Molto bene. Well done, Henry. You're doing a great job. But there's plenty more pizza left to deliver. There's no time to waste then, Scooter. Let's get delivering. Hello, Centurion statues. One quattro stagioni pizza. The Four Seasons. Thanks, Henry! Hello, Pantheon. Here's your pizza. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Henry. Hello, St. Peter's Basilica. Pizza delivery just for you. Thank you, Henry! That's everything, Henry. All the pizzas have been delivered. Molto bene, Henry. Well done. It was my pleasure, Scooter. Mmm. What is that yummy smell? That's me, Henry. Oh, dear, Scooter. It looks like there's still one pizza left to deliver. Henry, Scooter, we've just had one last order come in. We need you to deliver this pizza to the Statue of Caesar. Pronto! Oh, Henry, the Statue of Caesar is all the way on the other side of the city. It will be stone cold by the time we get there. Caesar's statue will be very sad if his pizza is delivered cold. Don't worry, everyone. I've not delivered a cold pizza yet, and I'm not about to start now. Let's go! Bye, Centurions. Toodles. Bye, Pantheon. Bye. Bye, St. Peter's Basilica. See you later, Henry. Uh... Sorry for the delay, Caesar statue. Here's your margarita pizza ready to eat. Thank you, Henry. Ah, delicioso. You did it. You delivered all the pizza before they went to call. Bellissimo work. Well done. It's all in a day's work for Henry, the pizza delivery driver. Now, who wants some gelato ice cream? Hooray! Hooray! Calling me Scooter. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all of mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me deliver the pizzas all over Rome. You're welcome. Have a nice afternoon. Ciao, Henry. Ciao, Scooter. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met at Torch. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Torch? I feel great, Henry. I'm having a lovely time hanging out with all my friends. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, everyone. 
It sure looks dark in there, Torch. How do you see anything? I use the energy stored in my batteries to power my light so I can see in the dark. Batteries? What are those, Torch? Batteries like us are used to store energy, Henry. We can power all kinds of interesting things. Like me. But when all the energy has been used up, we have to be recharged. And are replaced with freshly charged ones. Like <laughs> us! But you have to make sure to line up the positive and negative symbols. Otherwise, the batteries won't work. Whoa! I bet you can see all kinds of things with a light that bright. I sure can, Henry. I can find keys under the bed. Hello. Remote control down the side of the sofa. Hello. All junk in the attic. Hello. Last but not least, I'm always useful when you're camping out at night. Oh, I love camping. You must know some really spooky stories from camping so much. I'm afraid I haven't been camping in ages, Henry. I spend most of my time in this dusty drawer. If only I had someone to go camping and share a spooky story with. That gives me a great idea, Torch. I could become a camper and we can go on a camping trip and tell the most spookiest story ever. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Torch. First things first, we need to find a good place to set up our tent. A perfect camping spot should be flat, sheltered from the wind and rain, and most importantly, somewhere safe. This looks as good a place as any, Henry. It sure does. OK, Torch, let's set up camp. Hello, tent. Hello, Henry. Hello, sleeping bags. Hello, Henry. Hello, camping chairs. Hello. This is fantastic, Henry. The tent is pitched, the stars are shining, and we even have our own little campfire. We're all set to tell a spooky story. Do you know any good ones? Hmm. Once upon a time, the truth. Oh, dear. I can't get your light to work, Torch. Oh no, Henry, my batteries must have run out. We can't have a spooky story without some spooky lighting. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Torch. I think I have an idea. Right now, where was I? Oh yes. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who went camping in his back garden. A horrible, stinky smell lingered in the air. There was a rustling of a bush. <gasps> a snap of a twig. <gasps> and suddenly a huge shape loomed up out of the shadows. The boy knew it could only be one thing. And that thing was... What was it, Henry? It was... Yes? Bigfoot! <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, everyone. It's only a shadow. No. We don't mean that Bigfoot, Henry. We mean that, that Bigfoot! Oh, Bigfoot! Please don't eat us, Mr. Giant Bigfoot, sir. Eat you? <laughs> I'm not going to eat you. I was just passing by and heard your story and wondered if I could join you. I do love a good spooky story. I even brought marshmallows. Would you like some? Oh, I'd love some. Thanks, Bigfoot. Now, who's up for a campfire sing-along? Hooray! Day Henry met a torch. He laughed along with everyone. Day Henry met a torch. He met lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me, Torch. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for taking me camping and telling the spookiest story ever. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. <laughs> <laughs>